Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the week. So, I don't know who to start with first. I don't know whether to get Kristen and Susan together. I don't know whether to get Abigail and Gabby together. It's just a whole lot of mess going on. So, I'm just going to start with the first person I want to start with. Susan and Kristen. Now, Kristen... You might have the look. You might have the teeth in the wig. You sound nothing like Chris. I mean, Kristen, you sound nothing like Susan at all. Susan, you sound nothing like Kristen at all. While you were trying to act like Kristen, trying to convince Lonnie that you really is Kristen, you sounded more like Susan than Kristen. So I'm trying to figure out in my head, we already know Kristen sloppy, and we already know she just run off the first gut instinct and go do what she going to do. This whole escape from trying to save Brady from the mean, mean, bad, 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 bad Chloe, it is going to backfire on the both of y'all. And here's why. First of all, Kristen... We already then tried this whole Susan look for you. Remember we didn't try this? And remember Sammy the one that disguised you? Well unmask you. How many how, how long you think it's gonna take for you to get 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 around the wrong person like Marlena, Brady, Chloe, better yet, Philip or whoever. And they just and they just happen to pull that wig off your head. Then what, Kristen? Then what? If that don't get you, your craziness gonna catch up with you. Right now it's at a low two minus two minus one. Oh, but trust me, that temperature is rising and is and it's about to boil over the top. Now, Kristen. This plan could work, and you can actually get away with this. However, with your attitude, your temper, you think Chloe the bad guy when she really not the bad guy. You going off to Chloe and playing as Susan as this hatred towards Chloe when you, well, when Susan barely know Chloe, and she just met her how many days ago? And all of a sudden, she got to read and she don't like Chris. I mean, Chloe. So, and another thing, Kristen. And we going to switch a rule while we in prison. Why haven't you told Susan all the updated? Uh, why haven't you updated her on the current events? See how long it tripped Susan up. Tripped her, so fast, tripped her so fast, she about tripped over her whole entire body and fell on her face. Now, if you're going to have somebody take your place while you try to start, stop Chloe from stealing your man, shouldn't we update one's person that's supposed to be taking my place while I take care of Chris, I mean, take care of Chloe and get my man away from Chloe? Shouldn't we update that said person first before we go and jump off the, jump off the ledge and, you know, dive in head first into the water? Shouldn't we should have shouldn't we have warned Kristen? Lonnie gonna come visit you. She might ask about this, our time in Rome, when we both were nuns, um, how we helped each other, how we best friends. I mean, all that would have been so much helpful. Better yet, the updated and current news on the Brady front. We can update her at all. We were just so antsy and ready to get out of prison because we was tired of prison and you think Chloe wants your man? Well, Chloe do want your man. She didn't make that apparent. She tried to pretend like she don't like Brady, but she ain't stopping herself from being around Brady in the chance she got, in the chance she get. Another thing, Chloe, I already told you, you might want to take exits away from Brady. I done told you before you cross that bridge, you might want to take every exit besides going straight. I done told you you don't want to make the wrong turn. It can end up deadly for you. Now that Kristen playing in Susan, and you see she already toting around weapons, hoping you was to that door where she can stab you. 
Mm-hmm. Keep on playing crazy. Keep right on playing crazy. Keep right on being like Brady. You got to bring him muffins. You got to change his, his you got to change his um his bandages, bandages, all that. Keep right on acting like you just got to be around Brady. You tell Philip and everybody else there's nothing between you and Brady. There will never be nothing between y'all just friends and business partners. But the way you around Brady all the time, Chloe, you in love with Brady and you don't want Philip. Even when Susan, aka Christian, tried to tell you to go off the go off the um well when Philip did ask you for dinner, you told him no, I'm fine, I'm good, I, I'm straight, I don't want no parts of this dinner you planning. You need to must let the man down nicely. So if you're not interested in Philip, who else are you interested in? Are you interested in Brady? Trying to rekindle old flames, trying to set the candle back between y'all. So what is this doing and why you always around Brady? You have to be his doctor. Why, Chloe? Well, you know what? I just hope you make it out alive. You better hope and pray that Kristen get on mass before she, you know, do something to you. You know I look in your good like you did El Fideo or better yet, some, you know, some hot lead in certain body, you know, deadly fatal. You might want to go ahead and Hope they unmask Kristen before you get unmasked and you end up in the hospital next to John. So, um, yeah, watch yourself, Chloe, since you insist on being around Brady. Um, I want to get the orifice, but I'm going to save him for a little later. Bell, 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 you impress me. You impressed me so much. I want to do this video yesterday, but I said, nah, I'll nah, wait since they're going to show that the continuance of what happened Thursday. I said, was it Wednesday or th whatever day that was? I said, nah, I'll nah, wait. It was Thursday, I think. I'll wait and go ahead and do it then. Bell, you impressed me, but you didn't impress me enough. If I was you... I would have had Sammy doing a whole break dance in that in that police interrogation room before I would have ever helped her out. She threw she took you through a living hell. Had you been held hostage at your wedding and you still end up being her lawyer. Like I said, I would have had Simba doing a whole performance, and I don't mean crying and pleading. I mean a whole dance for me. And I better like it, or I would have told you, nope, I, I nope, I'm still not going to be your lawyer. Bell, you stronger than I ever be, because I would have had her doing a whole lot of dancing. I would have had her doing a whole lot of crying, and I would have had her dragging all on her, on her knees, coming up there begging and pleading me before I would have ever been her lawyer. And I wouldn't have cared what John said, Marlena said, or anybody else under the sun would have said before I would have helped this same sister that was never there for you, showed you how many times, basically, she going to do what she wanted. She don't care about the consequences. Now, see, I love Sammy dearly. I just don't like her antics at times. And here's me defending Bell. I never thought I'd be defending Bell on a video. Me and Bell have a love-hate relationship. I think I like her. I love her more than I, you know, don't like her. But Bell, you could have got a little bit more milk out of her eyes. I mean, a little bit more milk. A little bit more sincere. I'm sorry. I apologize. Basically, she tried to blame you for everything that happened to you. Not only that, she didn't seem sorry or sincere. So why should I help her? Think about the kids. What about my kids? What if I go to prison? How would the kids... Look, Allie only dealing with you now because you her mother. Allie really wouldn't miss you that much. I don't think so. Um, Lil EJ, I forgot his name, and, um, the girl name, the twin name, 
I forgot the the good. I forgot said Matilda name. So, Lord EJ and the other one. I, I I'm pretty sure you driving them nuts and crazy anyway. So I'm pretty sure they wouldn't miss you anyway. So Sammy, save all that. Oh, what about the kids? If I go to prison, how would I live? How would I breathe without being around my kids? Haven't you then caused enough destruction enough, Sammy, for years in eternal hell? Like I said, Belle, you better not will I ever be, but I would have had her knees so red, bloody red, before I would have told her I'd be your lawyer. And you told her to be honest and scrape with you. She wasn't honest and scrape with you. Her hands was all over the gun that you know off that that little rapist. So, I... Bell, the ball is in your court. Like I said, if that was me, I wouldn't have done it. I would have told Sammy where she can go and how far she can go. I wouldn't have cared if John and Marlena would have begged and pleaded, pleaded with me. I would have had her paying out of her money, out of her the marrow fortune that she didn't stole by her own lawyer. Better yet, since you carry into the marrow name so well, why don't you hire one of those brilliant lawyers that can get you off in 2.2 seconds? Why don't you call one of them? Because we know if this go forward and you slide because and you slide across trash the um this, you know she gonna try to nail you again, right? Cornel, you ready to that piece of wood like you a nail. So you kind of need Bell. Because we already know trash can't stand you. So Bell, that would have been justice for you. Why not? Then on top of it, your father still faced an apostle being murder charge or attempted murder charge because he choked the you know what out of Jan. And I'm still laughing at that. And I'm secretly still laughing at that. When he choked the living you know what out of bail and he still facing that charge while don't well, why he don't remember what happened between him and the little rapist. I think it was John. My honest opinion, I think it was John. Sammy might be crazy. Sammy might do a whole lot of things. I don't believe I don't believe that nut cracked hard enough for Sammy to you know you know off somebody else. Even though she didn't shot EJ, she didn't you know shot that man that you know raped her. Even though she didn't shot um. That other man that was trying to kidnap, I mean, what, what, that other man, what's that man name? I don't remember none of these people name. The man that tried to, you know, her, the Max man or whatever his name was, him, when she shot him. So yeah, shooting is right now at, um, Sammy gun range. So it won't be far fetched. And all trash needs is, you know, a ball in her hand and she gonna aim for a slam dunk regardless. So I went Sammy, the man up, well, Sammy. Sammy Brady, the mayor on stand. Ooh, she gonna have fun with you. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, on trial, she gonna have fun with you, Sammy. And I can't say I wouldn't enjoy it because you have done a whole lot. That last stunt with Jan, that was going over the top for the name of your grandchild because you couldn't stand the fact that Nicole had custody of your grandchild. You had to get custody of your grandchild. Then on top of it, you let up. I ain't gonna call the woman crazy. I'm just gonna say a woman that don't got a full deck of cards come out, harass, harass Sean Bell and her daughter, then held her hostage at her wedding at gunpoint. And I'm supposed to come help you out of your little prob your little troubles here. I certainly will not. Like I said, Bell, you been and I ever because I would have I would have sat there and let her behind suffer. Now to the weak souls. Say, I mean, Gabby, Abigail, you get an F minus in my opinion. An F, and here's why. When two people got the team up to take down one person, I think that's weak. And yeah, why would you want to team up with somebody you know you're not quite fond of? And. Y'all can't get along to save each other alive. And on another thing, this is never going to work. Like, I knew somebody was going to make the error and the craziest mistakes, and y'all made them. 
First of all, Abigail, you talking, you calling yourself trying to break up Jake and um K. Good luck with that. See, one thing that you got that Gabby don't got is a conscience and a soul. Gabby have none of those. Sooner or later, your egg is gonna crack. Gabby's wouldn't, cause she a whole demon wrapped up in a red dress. So, with curls in the head. So, yeah, you got a soul, Gabby don't. So, you gonna end up cracking before Gwen crack, and then this whole plan to come after her and make her confess. First of all, the only thing the girl remember is, is that she was in a hotel, she was in her room, Gabby came in there, Basically telling on you and teaming up. Basically said, I don't like gay Abigail. I want to team up with you. Let's take down Abigail. Then Gabby somehow slipped her drug and end up, you know, drugging her. Now, when we get to the laundry basket and Barney, I cannot and I will not. Through Horton Town Square, I might add. What no back alleyways, you know, no dark alleys or no corners. You can, you know, roll, roll um that woman body through in a laundry basket besides running her through a town square. Okay, whatever y'all say. I, I, you know what? I guess if that what y'all like, okay, then let's run with that then. Um, and another thing. Why would you, Abigail, knowing that this woman upsets you that much, why would you go down there calling yourself, trying to make her confess to crimes you know she can she committed, but you need her confession, and knowing this confession not going to help you at all, no way, shape, or form, but you want to use it anyways? And you know this woman know how to get under your skin. See how she played you? See how she used that whole chair and slept together thing against you? And you almost lost your mind again? Remember all that? So, why would you do that? And why would you go down there? You could at least have on a mask or something. Like, y'all some slow criminals in Salem. Like, okay, we got them. She only know about Gabby. She don't really know that you also were actually you and Gabby working together. So why would you go down there and let her be seen and know that you are part of this plan to try to get a confession out of her? And Gabby, why would you agree to help her when y'all don't like each other and the whole time y'all trying to get get back at her, y'all arguing, bickering, and carrying on and all of that? Good plan, but it's not going to work. I still say F minus. I'm sticking with it. I think it's weak sauce that y'all got the team together just to take down one person. So run with that or whatever. Now the Kristen, Evan, Sierra, Clyde, Orpheus, Ben, that whole mess. I was expecting more out of the Orpheus versus Clyde thing. You know, that look. It didn't work for me. For real, it didn't. I was so unimpressed. You can give them a little bit more struggling, you know, fighting at least. One of them, you know, fight, punch each other, whatever. That little old man struggle they did. And then that little quick little jab, really. And he laying on the floor. And he laying on the floor. I was expecting so much more for that. Kristen, you have a conscience. So while you thinking you're going to take down Ben, good luck with that. I don't think you're going to do it. I don't think you got the balls to do it. Good luck with that or whatever. Ben coming for you. Besides you coming for Ben, Ben coming for you. So y'all going to end up meeting each other somehow. And Ben... You better not let him overpower you neither.
I'm sick and tired of seeing you getting beat up. You the necktie killer, where the ex necktie killer, and you letting all these people beat you up and handle you and toss you around like you a shirt or something. And then when y'all do meet face to face, you better not let him take advantage of you. You better wear him out and turn him everywhere except loose, Ben. And I ain't playing with you neither. How you all them strong muscles and tall and you let people overpower you, beat you up, got you looking like a fool, when it should be the other way around? Can we get the old strong weak being bad that didn't take no BS from nobody? Can we get that being back and keep this soft shell when wherever he at, toss him in the, you know, toss him somewhere else? Can we get the old being back? Now we know the old being, this would never happen. None of that. He getting him getting beat up or none of that, none of that wouldn't be happening. That's why I said if they do me face to face, Ben, you better handle your business, and I mean you better handle it all, and you better not let him do much. You better let him get one lick off of you. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Now let's get to Steve, Caleb, Justin, Bonnie, that whole thing. Now I didn't say this this right at I ain't said this so many times. I didn't say it to Maggie. I didn't say it to um the the Victor at this point. Ju um Steve, you is wearing me out. Like Kayla told you, that man entitled to move on with his line. Whether it's Bonnie, the laundry basket, the sofa, the chair the TV, whoever he want to move on with, that is none of your business. What that man do with his life. Even if it is with Bonnie, Lockhart, Lockhart, leave that man and his relationship alone. So I'm glad Kayla checked you and told you, you can't tell that man what to do. You might not forgive her. That's your business. That's your profession. That's your business. You can't tell that big grown behind me what he can and can't do and why you upset about buying him. He done moved on. He done forgave her. That man ain't cleared his conscience. And you want to walk around with all that bunny bag of chow? By all means, you have fun with that. That man decided he want to let go of that. Now, y'all need to do the same. John, Roman, I'm not surprised by any of that in the way they was talking, in the way John upset his blood pressure in the hospital, talking about that boy Charlie again. So we ain't going to talk about that. Uh, we ain't going to talk about Sarah and um, them couples. Um, it was one more person I want to touch on before I end. Who was it? It wasn't Sam, it wasn't Christian, it wasn't Sarah, it wasn't... It was, um... It was somebody else. Oh, the Gabby Sheet thing, the renovation, that ain't going to work. That, yeah, yeah. And like your son pointed out, Kate, you want to put in field of, field of that fire. And if you know anything about Gabby by now, you know once she backed into a corner, she going to come out all nail sharp, not ready to scratch your eyes out. So while you playing around with Gabby and her stone, helping Jake out, you only put in field the Gabby fire to steal Jake away from you and to also get her thing back. So while you playing around thinking you doing something, you ain't really doing nothing. And of course, JK, she's on days. She playing as Lonnie, rich auntie. And she met Eli and she met Abe. And I guess she like him or whatever. But yeah, any of that, I think she gonna cause a little trouble. And I'm kind of here for it. So. I'm looking forward to that, and I can't wait to see what's in store and what Jack K going to end up doing on days and how much trouble she going to cause on days. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Have a good weekend, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.